Hi and welcome back to another football shirt review. Today we are looking at an Arsenal away shirt from the 1995 season. And as you can see this one has got a name set on the back and it's Dennis Bergkamp with the number 10. Now this was one of my favourite Arsenal shirts and when I thought about um, doing my last order I was like I had to get this one. So the shirt itself comes in a standard night bag. On the flip side we have our usual health warnings. The seller for this one was kitgg4.com. Details for the seller can be found in the description of this video. Delivery time, I think it was about 15 days, which is actually pretty impressive. Um, I know kitgg4 are going through a bit of a backlog at the moment, um, but this one did turn up relatively quickly and actually turned up um, separately from my other ones that I ordered, which is even better. So what we'll do now is we'll get this bag open and we'll have a look at the Arsenal away shirt from the 95 season. I'm just checking something then that cage has looked a little bit bigger, but I think it was just the way that the bag is, or the shirt was folded up in the bag. So yeah, let's get this bag open and let's have a look at this Arsenal shirt from 1995. Okay, starting at the top of the shirt and people who are subscribers or have seen my channel before will know that I am a massive fan of collars. And, oh, I like this one actually, it's like two collars in one there, look. So you've got the, the proper collar, let's call it, hanging over, which is like a smaller one, which is what you see more on the on the shirts today. Now, like I said, I am a fan of retro shirts, so really looking forward to this one. Love, love that. Just the join on the sleeve looks really nice. Nike badge. It's been embroidered on, it's a little bit wonky. The E is, as you can see, slightly off. I'm guessing that the Nike emblem should have been slightly lower and the E should have been slightly lower. Um, but I will check out just to see if that's how it was, but I very much doubt it. The Arsenal crest, we've got the Gunners again embroidered on, and it's not too bad. I think it looks better from a, I don't know, it's a little bit closer. No, I think it looks better from a distance. When, um, but when you're close up, when you're close up, you can always see if there are some imperfections on the cannon. The JVC has been heat pressed on, or actually, I think this has been glued on because it is like the velvet. So I'm going to say that's been glued on. Um, but yeah, it's like the velvety texture, which is really nice. At the bottom, we do have the authentic replica, and there we have the Nike logo. So that actually shows exactly what the one above should have looked like. So if I can. Put them together, we can see it is just that E just pointing up a little bit. That's a shame, but I don't think anybody's going to really worry about that too much. But this replica, night replica, authentic replica Nike emblem has been stitched on. Just going back down, just to have a look at the hemline, that looks tight. It's got these nice little cuts on the side. There's also a a design in the shirt. I can't really make out what it is. Oh, it's the Arsenal. It looks like a football Arsenal. I'm sure if anybody knows, they will let me know below. But there's the first look at the Arsenal away shirt. Okay, I'm flipping over to the back, and the collar, the, the bigger collar, goes all the way around with the smaller one underneath it as well. I, like, I really like that. As I mentioned in the intro, we do have the name set of Beck, um, I say Beckham then, uh, Burkamp, and this has been pressed on. It feels quite plasticky actually. Likewise with the number 10 below. And there is a crease just along there from where the shirt has been in the bag. But once this has been worn, that will soon come out. At the bottom, you do have the Arsenal wording and that's in the material. Actually really nice that. I do like it when shirts print into the material. Um, obviously from a washing perspective, it lasts a lot longer. I just I think it looks a lot tidier. And then we don't have the issue like we see on the front of the night tick. Cut out again. I just spotted one tiny little loose thread there, but scissors can soon sort that out. But all in all, I think it looks good on the back. And to be fair, is there a better player to get on the back of your Arsenal shirt? I guess you could say Henri, um, but obviously for the era of this is, is there a better Arsenal player? Okay, we've moved on to the inside of the shirt. 
and now you can see how the how the collar properly looks the two in one Arsenal badge as I said been embroidered on you can see where the stitching join is there but actually that looks quite tidy the Nike on the inside you always get these additional extra little bits of card but do you know what it actually looks better on the inside than it does the outside that E looks almost straight there JVC yes yeah, definitely been glued on as you can see here you can just see where the, the darkness is of the glue but that looks really tidy actually I just realised I thought I ordered Premier League patches on this one but maybe I didn't I will check and I'll confirm at the end but all in all the inside looks nice and tidy one thing I've just noticed actually didn't notice it when we had the shirt on and um, the correct way around but actually where the bottom is the reverse the back of the shirt where the Arsenal writing is is slightly longer just got a longer flap on the back the authentic replica and stitch on again there's just that normal join there Put the stitching all down the side under the arm looks tidy yeah spot on that's the inside of the shirt okay we're on the final part of the inside of the shirt and at the top we have our night premier xl um it's always worthwhile sizing up on these shirts so although it says an xl I would go a size larger. So if you do normally buy a large, then it's an XL. If you buy an XL, then it's a double XL. With the fan versions or the retro ones, which this is, then they are more accurate on the size. But when you go for the player spec, then definitely, definitely size up. Recommendation is to always use your first order as a bit of a pilot one. We've got all these night tags. Obviously, you'd see these more on the newer shirts um, than you would these older replica ones, but it's a nice addition. The washing instructions, hand wash only a flip your shirt inside out, especially when you've got stuff like the JVC on there, because what you don't want to do is wash it at such a high temperature that the glue melts and that comes off. So that's why it's always worth doing it, hand wash setting. And moving to the bottom, where we've got the Arsenal print. You can't fold that at all in the material. Lovely shirt, this one. Just have a look at you, I forgot to look at where We've got Burkamp. Yeah, you can't even see it where it is. And then number 10, it's as smooth as can be. So I'm I'm happy the way that's been put on there. Like I said, there is a crease there, but that's what we saw on the front, just where the shirt has been in the bag. And there it is. There is our Arsenal retro shirt from 1995, which is the away one. I absolutely love this shirt. The colours for me are just absolutely outstanding. And it's got that lightning bolt on it, which is what we're seeing on the Arsenal shirts of today. So that's a nice touch, actually. I didn't realise that the, the newer shirts were taking that from this old one. So that's really smart. Um, all in all, great shirt, great shirt. For me, biggest issue is just that Nike. But I think the further you are away, the less noticeable it is. Um, so yeah, I can't fault this one at all. Kit GG4 have hit it out of the bag again really with this retro shirt and um, details for the seller will be in the description of this video if you are new around here please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because i do these reviews on a weekly basis you can leave any comments questions or messages i'll get back to you as soon as i can but i hope you have enjoyed this one say so, i love the shirt such a nice one thank you very much for watching everyone i'll see you in the next one